Right, uh, hello guys. Um, I'm hoping you all, you can all hear me. Um, back here on uh, on Agrarian Skies. Show you some of the stuff I've done in a bit. But first of all, let's have a quick look at the bees. So I've just I've got the two um, apries. I've got a bee house and apri, and this one I've just been doing forest queens and forest drones now but in this one i've been mixing uh forest and meadows and i've been getting a few other breeds out of it so i've been getting some cultivated and some common so i'm hoping that i'll be able to breed the cultivated up to uh a few other a few other breeds fairly soon uh, the chickens are no longer escaping, so that's great, and the cows and sheep are going along nicely. Still haven't found a second flower, believe it or not, but I've been getting a few different trees and I've started planting a few in different places. Um, work has been continuing on the industrial district, so I've been making this place out of microblocks, just playing around with microblocks because they're totally new to me. But I don't think it's too bad a design. It's still a bit plain, but I'm working on that. And this road is so hard to walk on when you're not actually concentrating. And uh, most of the changes have happened down here recently. Uh, as you can see, a lot of this industrial stuff is gone. That's because of this big pipe here is funneling um, is funneling gunpowder down to this industrial area here, which has got I got five TNT generators with not enough sound muffling on it, and as you can see, uh, the other day I logged on to just look at the bees and an enderman spawned I killed the enderman and I got an ender pearl which is great because it's enabled to me to make this vacuum hopper and the vacuum hopper is just sucking up all the stuff that these these sifters are going so this sifter is uh, sifting gravel and what is happening here is this autonomous activator is basically right clicking um, a piece of gravel onto it so it puts it in and then it processes it and it produces the bits and pieces. They drop out the sieve and the uh, vacuum hopper sucks them up. This one is doing dust. I need to do a third one, which I might do on camera, to do uh, sand. And let's just get rid of that one. I'm thinking about it. Okay, uh, and the last thing I want is a place where mobs can spawn. There we go. Right. So this is filling this chest up and we are getting stack after stack after stack of stuff. Not much redstone, but I've just started that one up, but there you go, that's a stack of lead ore, got some iron ore, so I'll just put that into smelt now. Right, um, I see that uh, Shizzy's had a smart ass pills today, well done Shizzy! And okay, let's just make a few stacks of that so that'll soon cook up to 16 lead and 16. What's the other one I got? Can't see it there. Ah, so, yeah, 16 lead and 16 iron quite quickly, which is great. So those are very, very rapidly going to start getting, um, getting rid of my iron and fairly soon my redstone problems right so um, again we have another automated system that allows us to just sit back afk a little bit and get some items out of it right, so if we come in here this is how it works taught hello man how are you doing we need to talk to you want to have another card game so, uh, uh, with your luck, you've got about me for about another 40 minutes. So, how's all this working? All right, this uh, igneous extruder is making cobblestone, which is feeding down to these two pulverizers, and they are making gravel. So, the gravel comes along. First of all, it goes into this chest, 
But if this chest is full, it goes into this pulverizer here, which is making sand. And it's the sand, first of all, goes into this chest. But if it's full, it will go into a pulverizer, which we need to put there, that will make dust. And then the dust will go into here, and that is feeding down into uh, the... What, what's the word? What, it's, it's feeding down into the... Um, uh, the autonomous activator, that's the word. Thank you. <laughs> so, right, we need to put in another um, pulverizer, and we need to put it there. In fact, we need to put it there um, to get the piping right. So let's move these along. Um, and this is a great thing. A dolly allows you to pick up chests... Just put them down somewhere else. It's great. It's absolutely marvellous. I love it. Okay, and... Uh, hey, and... Right, so what do we want to do here? Okay, first of all, I want to put in a slab. Oh, it's not working because of that uh, pipe there. So let's get that up. There we go. And we'll put a slab in. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is reconnect that chest up. So let's head down there. All right, so everything's probably been sucked up by the vacuum hopper. Yep that and that yeah, load of dust as well that's excellent so we need to tell this to rather than get it its input in through the top we need to tell it to get its input in through wrong side that side I should imagine no that side There we go, and yeah, that's like that. So let's make a hole in the roof here. Yeah, we can now see the bottom of that. So we'll put the pipe in like that. And then I need to put um, that pneumatic servo in so we can actually program it do what we want. First of all we need to tell it to take stuff out, then we put the pneumatic servo in, and then if we hit that with open hand we tell it to blacklist nothing. So it's saying let everything from the chest out, and we need to turn that red zone signal off. So that will now start sucking things out, as you can see there, of the chest, and they're going into the autonomous activator. So that will carry on nicely for a bit. So that's that job done. And since we've been talking, we've got three redstone, and this is working out really well for me. And we've got all these emeralds, we've got loads of lapis, which we don't really need because this is 164, uh, diamonds, loads and loads and loads of metal. Uh, this is working out really well for me. What I need to do is later on get this to a place where it's automated, but uh, we'll do that later on. Uh, right, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, don't need any of this. I'm getting so much, I'm getting so much um, flint that I'm having to throw the stuff away. It's ridiculous. Uh, just get rid of it like that, throw it in the dustbin. Now, oh, better pick that up first. I need to take this, where is it? There it is, my pulverizer. So we're going to install that quickly to take sand and make dust. I will. I could have used that nice blue for um, playing around with micro blocks, I think, because I think it's going to look nice. So, right, uh, we can now fit in the pulverizer there. Um, we need to, okay, there it is, it's filling up with power. Now, what I need to do is filter the input so it only takes sand. And then, so to do that, we're going to need another pneumatic servo. And then 
need to connect these two up together so I will do that there and that's going to need another pneumatic servo uh, so I'm going to make those two and then we can Um, get that for turning taking sand and turning it into dust and I'm hungry So let's have a loaded baked potato excellent Oh I need to go down here because in order to make that stuff I need some redstone so I'm going to steal the redstone that we've made so far. Suddenly. Why are there explosions? Um, it's because these are TNT generators. They work by exploding, basically. But um, I have thousands of gunpowder. Thanks to this mob drop. Okay, I have yeah. You know, there's like seven thousand seven hundred and three gunpowder in there. All right. Um. And again, that's that's very nearly filled up again. So. Uh, um. This is just a good way of using it. Now I need to put up with the explosions, unfortunately, but because they're over there, I don't mind them so much. So right. Let's make ourselves some. Um, of these there we go and let's use silver just for a bit flash so we'll make four for now that's nice up to this point if I wanted to make six or seven uh, uh, six or seven redstone that would be a good hours work for me you know sifting through the dust manually and getting it down so yeah he might he might let you live that one down to be honest with you okay let's get this up right so right so right top is going to be blue and the right is going to be both colors like that that needs to be nothing that needs to be nothing if help if i stopped over clicking there we go so right um this is now going to feed in through the top and feed out through the right and we we'll tell it not to use a redstone signal i'm going to put need to put in a pneumatic servo there and a pneumatic servo there and let's just configure the two of them so blacklist nothing ignore that actually I do want to blacklist something I want sand so if we just take one sand and right so we'll say whitelist sand only let sand through and eventually that will start working likewise this will take all um, stuff out and we only we only wanted to put dust in there so if we take a piece of dust okay, we're cutting it to whitelist dust so that will only let dust in so dust will come out of here and go into here where it will now go down to the bottom there and get processed and because it's going to take a while let's just grab a piece of sand Rack a block of sand like that, so that becomes dust there, and we should actually see this start to increase. There we go. Now all we're waiting on is this gravel to produce enough sand to fill this chest up to get the process running. So I'm going to grab a bit more of our stored gravel. And we'll speed it up a little bit by giving it loads of gravel to process rather than waiting for um, this to provide all it needs. This is not a very efficient system because each one of these chests has to be full for the next item in turn to uh, to run. But uh, 
given enough time, this is just going to chug away nicely and produce me, provide me resources. And if ever I need some stuff, I just dip into a chest. It stops the uh, the production of that type for a little bit, but we can just carry on. Um, I'm learning mods at the moment, so I'm in that area where you know what all the mods do, but can't quite do it yet. I know the feeling. Uh, <laughs> I probably forgot to close the doors. Yes, I know that feeling well. Right, so there we go. Now, the last thing I want to do is create another autonomous actuator to provide us with more resources coming out here but the problem is that if I do this immediately then what's going to happen is these are going to overfill and we'll start losing things so the first thing I want to do is go and make some more chests and just set some pipes out towards it so there's a couple of pipes let's go and make some chests and that leads me to my current problem which is I'm facing a chronic shortage of wood because I only have a few trees and I'm using most of them for bees it's actually hard for me to find enough wood so um, I really need to start working on that particular problem which is going to be the next task I deal with along with smelting because I need to get the, the smeltery sorted out so let's go and use the crook to get some saplings I know you don't need to, but I am dealing with jungle saplings here, so this improves the odds of getting one. Crook is a wonderful tool, by the way, in forestry for Minecraft. Really increases your odds of finding saplings and things like that. So there we go, that'll grow again. That gives me a bit of wood. Let's go and turn that into a couple of chests. Right, there we go. Ah, exactly enough wood. How's about that? All right. So if we go and pop those in there. Uh, why aren't you? Uh, why aren't you placing? Should I? Do I have to put a couple of slabs down first? Oh, of course, it's because I'm... Ah, stupid me. Uh, it's because you can't put a chest next to another chest, isn't it? Just stick a light on there for now. Like that, and... There we go. So there we go. As this chest fills, this chest will start to fill up as well. That will give me a bit of time to actually make something out of this. Right, there we go, right. So that's where the autonomous, uh, where that's where the chest is. Uh, so. Oh, hold on, that's no good. We need to stop that from trying to feed into there. That's bad. Oh, let's just get rid of that. Yeah, and the way we're going to stop them from feeding in is by using these micro block covers. I tell you, these explosions are so hard to work with, but. Uh, It'll be worth it in the long run. And we'll put one like that. And I can put one on top of it. Like that. And one like that. And the micro uh, the the covers will sit there, but they'll stop uh They'll stop connections from being made with this pipe here.
Okay, so right, let's get this laid out before I get exploded to death. Again, no good. What's going on here? Right, that's excellent. Okay, now I can put um, uh, an autonomous actuator here and a sieve underneath it. So we finally got there. These explosions make it very hard to do this, I've got to be honest with you. But it's free energy, so I'm not complaining about it too much. Oh, can I cut the redstone? Oh, loads of redstone there. Okay, excellent. I'll have that. Because now, oh, what I do need is. Uh, some of these and some of these we'll just grab them so let's go and make ourselves a couple of autonomous actuators there we go all right so we need chest a piston two invite ingots a pneumatic servo two emeralds and two diamonds it's expensive but entirely worth it so let's go and cut ourselves down another tree excuse me any redstone uh, not redstone i want bone meal so let's have bone seeing as we've got 4095 of them i think we can spare a bone spare us a bone governor and just there we go and cut the tree down we cut down trees we wear high heels suspenders and a bra i wish i'd been a girly just like my dear papa all right and let's go make a chest and a piston uh, first things some wood. Use this just to use it up. Like that. Okay, so there's the chest. Piston looks like this. We need some iron. There's iron. Oh, we want like that. And cobblestone either side there we go there's our piston so chest piston what else do we want okay right oh there's wrong way around okay so pneumatic servo there emerald emerald diamond diamond and invar invar that's that and I'm going to need another sifter but to do that I'm going to need some string let's go and get some string from our lovely mob drop uh, yeah I thought I overdid that attach what shift click Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's get sixteen. There we go. And which is silly because we need eighteen. There we go. That's eighteen. And a sifter looks like th uh, sorry, not sifter, a sieve. A sifter is something totally different. A sieve looks like this. So first of all, you need two silk mesh, and they go in the middle like that. And then you put planks down either side, and sticks at the bottom. So there we go. We have a jungle wood sifter. So that's 
the thing that's going to start getting us sandy bits. Ooh, that just sounds wrong, doesn't it? So we'll put autonomous actuator here pointing down like that. Excellent. And put the sifter underneath it. And that will start filling up with sand. And that will sift the sandy bits as well. So let's just go and check to make sure that we've got the other end right. Which we haven't, so let's sort that one out quickly. Add a pneumatic servo, and let's control that. So we'll blacklist nothing, turn off that, and that will now start feeding through sand into this autonomous actuator. Takes a couple of minute, a couple of seconds to get through, and then that sieve will start processing sand. Ah, that's filling up wrong. Might be the reason why it's not quite working. So let's go and have a quick look. But there we go, that's that's the basics of this. Uh, and that will now start sifting gravel into sand, into dust, and processing the whole lot for me. Looks like I'm going to need to put some more pneumatic servos in here to stop it putting gravel in wherever it can. But that means that this is actually full of gravel now, which is excellent. Uh, let's give it some more to chew on to get the speed it up a bit. And there you have it. Sandy bits sound really com comfortable. You're right, they do. So that's where we've got at the moment. That is now an automated uh, system here. So we have cobblestone being created, turned into gravel, turned into sand, turned into dust, um, being processed at every level. And those stored items coming down here into the sifters and being processed like that. And then getting caught up in the vacuum hopper, stored in here. And the leftovers, uh, sorry, the, the result, as a result, I'm getting loads and loads of metal, loads of um, various dusts. And fairly soon, I will be getting loads of sand products as well. But I'm quite happy with that. Next step is to actually sort this stuff out and put it into different packages. Right, there we go. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're running out of time here because, uh, yeah, well, best laid plans and all that. So, it doesn't look like I'm going to have time to show you guys uh, the other things I want to do, but I, one thing I want to do is build a tree elizer, which is like a bee elizer. This thing here, which analyzes bees, tree analyzers analyze trees. So there's two things I want to be. The first one is a chest, but not any chest. I want to build an arborist chest. Then an arborist chest is a bit like a um, a bee hunter's chest. It uh, allows you to look up information like this where we have the information on the bees um, this one will allow us to give it uh, information on trees so let's just have a quick look at that uh, so we want a, uh, well basically we want five saplings um, Rather use rarer, uh, more common ones. So let's see if we've got any over here. Uh, just the rubber, which I want to keep hold of. Oh, there we go. Those spruce saplings will do nicely. So, first thing we need to do is make a tree, uh, a chest, and guess what? We've run out of wood. I really must deal with that problem.
but we will deal with that uh, in the next episode, I think. Uh, bone meal this up if we can. Oh, just enough. How's that? And grab some more wood. Okay, grab a sapling because I don't have much time. And we'll plant that one there. There we go. All right. So, make ourselves a quick chest. There it is. All right. Uh, so, a chest. We need saplings around it. And a bit of glass on top, if I remember right. There we go. And this arborist chest, we'll just put it over here for now. It works exactly the same as the other one allows us to store different types of saplings. Oh, it won't allow me to do the the, uh, the Minecraft ones, it would appear, just the forestry ones. All right. But as we've got mostly forestry ones now, and we'll probably be stopping using the Minecraft ones, that's not a problem. Yep, uh, you'll hear an awful lot of zombies because I don't have enough sound mufflers anymore. Uh, right above us is the mob drop, and that sound muffler is not nearly good enough. Okay, a tree elizer. This will be our last job for today. There we go, a tree elizer. We make it in the carpenter again. And this time we need copper, redstone, diamond, and glass, which uh, we now have lots of each. So that's for copper. Uh, that's enough redstone, I think. Yeah, uh, a couple of glass panes. And I left the diamonds over in the chest out there, so let's go and grab those quickly. Uh, where are they? Uh, where should be diamonds at? There should be diamonds. Excellent. So let's go over to the carpenter here. That's the centrifuge. There's the carpenter. And this time we want to have copper as the pattern. So we'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. And we'll put some glass in there. It's not got any power coming to it. So where's my energy cables? There they are. Let's power them up. And... This is one of the old wood fire generators, which is really annoying, so I've got to put some wood in it. Like that. But now we should have. He has nothing! Nothing! What am I doing wrong? Copper. Am I. Just have a look at that design again. Copper, copper. See, uh, water. That's what it's missing. So let's go and get some water to stick in there. Of which we happen to have rather a lot. Coal blocks, yes. Uh, up to this point I haven't had enough coal to, uh, to do that unfortunately, but uh, hopefully soon. Why is this not working? Why is this not working? Why are we always having this fun? Um, there we go. 
for some reason it decided that that diamond wasn't a real diamond. Never mind. Right, so that will now make that. That's it. it will take it a while, so we'll leave it be and we'll come back later on. I don't think you can make charcoal blocks. I'm, actually, I've never tried to make charcoal blocks, but it'd be interesting to see. If anyone knows, do let me know. So there's the tree Eliza being made. I think I'm going to invest in a few dozen more sound mufflers because this noise is really getting to me. So there we have it. We have our items, uh, our, all our items being generated now. Uh, I, I clearly need to work a little bit on the input systems here, but we'll get round to that. And the next step is to get this storage up together, which I just want to get everything possible into crates, get all barrels, rather get all the storage up here, and then if I want anything, I just come here. Because what I want to do is I want to get rid of all this and move it all over into there. Because this mob drop needs to actually go down here. So I need to get all of this out of the way and move it down one. How's uh, my carpenter working? It says it's not getting any power. Uh, possibly, is it possible that the other ones aren't are getting in the way? Let's get rid of them and find out. No, still not getting any power. Right, well, I don't want to deal with that particular problem at 10 to midnight. I will deal with that later on. The carpenter and I have never really seen eye to eye anyway, to be honest with you. So I shall deal with that anon. Are you actually producing power? That might be the problem. Pick you up. Grab that wood as well. And we're just going to set you down on your own for a minute. I think that's the problem. It's not generating enough power. So we'll get that in there and there we go it's starting to build up um, RF so I think you're getting the feeling if we allow this to build up for a minute and then wire it up <clears throat> excuse me it will then work and hello Andy you come on just in time for me to say goodbye right so the next the next episode of this is going to be us talking trees talking to trees talking about trees Occasionally hugging trees. Um, I want to build this out, this forest out a little bit further. And I also desperately need to find a way of automating tree production. Ah, that's what we've got here. So we've got a cultivated drone, a cultivated drone, and a cultivated drone. So we got a Meadows Princess. And a, okay, let's stick in a Meadows Princess and a Cultivated Drone. I'm wondering what we'll get out of that. Uh, annoyingly, we're not getting Cultivated Princesses that much, but uh, that's possibly because I've set them up badly. We'll see. Food is looking good. We will get into automated agriculture later on. And I think that's enough for a recap. How are we doing for power? 
Right, let's see if I was right, shall we? There, it now has power! And it'll have that built in just a sec. <laughs> it's run out of power! <laughs> Oh, these generators are utterly, utterly terrible. We'll give it another couple of minutes to uh, recharge again. They are totally, totally awful, but they were the only things I could make at the time. Um, some more drones in. Oh, there they are again, another G. Uh, we're getting lots and lots of different flavors of meadows and forest. Just starting to get the uh, the cultivated stuff in. And these are the common ones. And as you can see in the, the picture here, which is a bit uh, messed up, but uh, it does actually show you what each uh, species will breed into. Right. This is such a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Uh, how's our earth production doing? Ooh. 16 just chugging along the background nicely it's doing really well and that's that's the sort of automation i like in this game i've set that up i can just walk away from it if I ever want earth i come here i take some if you have an energy cell the generators are quite good you're absolutely right but once again this is the point here I've been absolutely starved of resources until today. Now I've done this, I will start getting resources in. I will start getting lots of resources in, but until I made this, the only way I could get this is the only way I could get resources is by doing this job manually and there was that was way too time consuming. So this is going to open up a massive door and allow me to start getting lots and lots and lots of uh projects on the go because I'm now going to have metals and redstone dust and what have you I don't need to start worrying about these things anymore just go ahead and assume that the if the material is there right how much more will that get me bit more bit more bit more bit more bit more bit more go on one more yes Ladies and gentlemen, we have a treeizer. So let's put that in my inventory and let's grab ourselves a tree. Oh no, I put them all in here, didn't I? Okay, so if I grab a sapling, um, let's grab one of these jungle saplings. And then I fire up the treeizer. And I put the jumble saplings in there. Oh, this needs honey as well, does it? Okay, so that's a bit cheaty. Grab some honey out of... I think I've still got some in the bee Eliza. Yep. I don't have his space. So we put some honey in the bee Eliza, which seems a bit cheaty. Uh, in the tree Eliza rather, not the bee Eliza, so that goes in there. And now we can learn or we can learn about this uh, jungle sapling and uh, um, active if I understand this is in the correct biome, inactive is if it's in the wrong biome. And this is this uh, there's the soil it likes there, so it likes light, um, it's it's best in plains, it likes jungles. Um, right, and it produces apples. And we don't know anything about its mutations yet. So there we go, it's the same sort of thing as the Bealizer, but it's for trees. If I understand right, if I put these in, let's just let me show you. These are Minecraft saplings, but if I put them in like that, they now become forestry for Minecraft saplings, which is fine by me. So they've magically turned from spruce into red spruce, and I've run out of uh, um, honey, and I can't be bothered to fight this at the moment. 
I'm just going to need to set all this up over in the industrial side and the job will be done. So there we go. So now we have... We have... Item, uh, we have resources being produced, reduced automatically. Look at this stuff. Loads and loads of stuff. Anyway, I've already got another stack of iron. I picked this one up when we started talking. Oh, that's aluminium. But we now have uh, a broken uh, a stack of iron. That will make me 16 iron ingots. And we've made the tree realizer, which means we can actually start thinking about the tree breeding, the bee breeding. And that's going to be a large part of the, uh, the work here. And most importantly, we're starting to get the design and the logic of this world coming together and making ourselves a, a more pleasant environment. It's still a more pleasant environment hovering over nothing, but it's a more pleasant environment. So until the next time, I think we're going to leave it there. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Agrarian Skies. Oh honey, yay. Thank you and good night.